Did they announce anything interesting here? Oh my god. I thought it was actually an hour long. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Okay, buddy. Alright, what's Nintendo doing? Nintendo, what the fuck are you doing? What's going on? I heard Nintendo Switch Sports. Hello, and welcome oh. to Indie World. I'm Ariko. And I'm Amber. We're back today to showcase a slew of indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. I love indie, indie games. Span the globe, from Sweden to Australia and Japan. And we can't wait to see what they've been cooking up. So let's get started. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've played this game on Sub Sunday. Isn't it called like Ooblets? Wait, did I play this game on Sub Sunday? Oh wait, I did. Oh yeah, I did, I did. Wait, did I not? I did. Oh. That one, I got one guy in the chat. He's like, you never played this. Motherfucker making me question my goddamn memory. Don't you just love games that are cozy and weird? Oh, I absolutely do. This charming creature collection and farm simulation game from Glumberland has everything to give you the warm fuzzies. Grow and train adorable little creatures called Ooblets as you cultivate new life in the blossoming community of Badgetown. All right, all right, all right. Character. Befriend the locals. Yeah, I don't want to be friends with the locals. Run your own shop. I'm good. And most importantly, have epic dance oh, battles. Oh yeah, the dance battles were actually kind of funny. And travel to different locations. I forgot. I Visit remember the now. They were kind of funny. Boardwalk and port forward. Saunter through the spooky swamps of nowhere and ascend the frozen peaks of I recall. I remember. Waddles its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. That makes sense. That's a good Switch game. Colorful and mesmerizing planets awaits in this fast-paced action RPG across the cosmos. The fuck is this? In this deeply story-driven game by Stormind Games, you'll use both strength and wits to interact with others and conquer the challenges ahead. Nah, Balancing dude. The of your physical and mental powers is key. Sacrifice one for the other against opponents and things might not turn out well for you. No, 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 no. Your conscience will carry the weight of your No, no, no. What kind of hero will you become? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, this is Choose your world. Your destiny in Batora, Lost Haven. I'm good, bro. Switch this I have a portfolio of fucking worlds that need to be saved. エルケッドが。もうすぐ任天堂スイッチで遊べるようになります。エルケッドは私が学生時代の頃、流れるというテーマのコンテストの時に好きなゲームからインスピレーションを受けて開発したプロトタイプ先になります。オッケー、オッケ
while navigating a booby-trapped facility. By using your electrifying powers to touch walls, floors, platforms, and switches, electricity will charge through them and bring them to life. I mean, it, it's like, hey, it's a cool, you know, yeah, sure, yourself. sure. Well, I mean, actually, you should. Detach and throw your head to trigger objects. You'll need to retrieve it within 10 seconds or else. You know, it's They're like a nice little platformer. Hidden rooms and secrets to discover. So use your head, literally, to explore every nook This is on Steam as well. Oh. Elect head bolts on to Nintendo Switch. Okay, this okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Feel the beat in Soundfall. This fast-paced, rhythm-based dungeon crawler from Noodle Cake and Drastic Games mm -mm. combines looter shooter action with musical gameplay that'll keep you on your Looter toes. shooter with and a musical element? Uh-uh. As a guardian of harmony, you're transported to the world of Symphonia to battle the forces of Discord. Move to the music solo or with up to four players locally or online as you restore harmony to Symphonia's corrupted lands. Nah. Levels and encounters are dynamically generated from the music, and there are over 140 songs to choose from. So pick the tune you want to hear before jumping into the fray. Time your actions to the music and your power will increase. There are five different musical heroes to choose from, over 500 pieces of equipment for skill customization and thousands of loot combinations giving you opportunities for multiple playthroughs yeah get your head bopping to soundfall oh my Launching god today nintendo switch system later today i'm downloading it right now <sighs> why is it freezing in here you better be ready to weather the snowstorm in wild frost Take on the harsh elements in this tactical roguelike deck builder from Deadpan Games. Build and customize your deck as you set off to put an end to the Eternal Frost. The Eternal Our Frost. and items are at your disposal. Use them to battle wave after wave of monsters, from the deceptively cute penguins to brash and brutal. Why would I just play Hearthstone? Plan your next move using the dynamic counter system and fell those frosty fiends. After each run, try I mean, it looks like it's well built. Expand the it has a cozy art style, to unlock new but it's cards. cards. Helpful for your fight against the perpetual winter. You know. Wild Frost makes its snowy debut on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Hey, I heard Hanna. And I heard Rebecca. We're from Landfall Games, a small game studio based in Stockholm, Sweden. And we are Sweden. excited to announce that our game, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TAPS for short, will be coming to Nintendo Switch. We first started working on TAPS in 2016. The idea was to make a game that is inspired by the feeling you got when playing with your action figures as a kid. We then added the strategy and fighting elements and turned the game into the wobbly experience that it is today. Our wonderful community has been with us along the way. It's not lip sync. It's literally they just have audio so over. They're sweet. They're speaking in Swedish, bro. Oh, this game's on the Switch now. The fuck? This shit will literally blue screen your Switch if you have too many units. Tabs is fun. It's a fun game. Do the 
wobble wobble. Yeah, like Wait, tabs what? is cool, but yeah, you, you think there's a right? unit cap? In Probably. This fighting game from Landfall Games, you'll lead teams of over 100 wobblers in battle, hailing from ancient lands, spooky worlds, and fantasy realms. This Those game's multiplayer is kind of uh, fun, actually. Very, sometimes. Uh, wobbly. It's oh, kind of funny, awesome. actually, because you don't know what the other dude is doing. Either. Watch your wobblers flail and fail in silly simulated battles. Or make new ones in the unit creator and customize their size, weight, and speed, among other stats. The thing is, some people always use of... the OPS Whoa. unit in tabs. Send them to fight your friends in online multiplayer mayhem. Say it with me. Actually, it's yo, tabs online was funny. You never cease to I would I would play that again. Totally accurate battle simulator. Wobbles. It's way on to Nintendo Switch this summer. What is this game? From Gato Roboto. Who? A noir punk? Looks kind of cool. Gunbrella. Gunbrella? What the fuck? You're a gruff woodsman on a quest for revenge in this noir Devolver Digital action adventure from Doinksoft. Armed with the titular Gumbrella, you'll maneuver through various locations, from a cultish town to a junkyard fortress. Use I mean... the Gumbrella to glide, swing, dash. Dive and take out enemies in gritty side scrolling combat. The bosses Along look the way, ridiculous. You'll scavenge for scraps and spare parts to upgrade the umbrella and employ your sleuthing skills to assist a cast of increasingly bizarre characters in a world rapidly losing its natural resources. And that's just the beginning of your investigation. Plenty of dark twists and turns lie ahead. Gumbrella ah. launches on Nintendo Switch. That next doesn't year. look bad, man. That doesn't look bad. Hey everyone, I'm Jared Huntley, lead programmer. Oh, on it is fun. OFK, and I'm Luca Lafay, lead singer of the band OFK. We're super excited to announce that our music biopic game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes. Ooh, I can play it on a tour bus. Ugh, I can't wait to tour together. We haven't seen each other since that the music artists video of the future that place in LA in 2019. Yeah, wow, wow. And with the game on handheld, it'll be easy to play the new episodes that are coming out every single week, back to back to back. Can't wait to share OFK's story and music with y'all. Hey, Jared, can I get your opinion on tour outfits? What? Is, what is this? a game What the fuck This musical narrative from indie pop band OFK is going to take you on quite the emotional ride Set in downtown Los Angeles, Itsumi Saito struggles to establish herself in LA's ruthless music scene while managing a full-time job, a social life, and a brutal commute. Hmm. But a chance encounter with a rising Hollywood music producer may give her the edge she needs to achieve her dreams. That one music Through game I played was really good. Forgot the name of it. Music videos with the fully voiced cast, what am I thinking of, chat? The lives of Itsumi and her friends unfold. 
You're allowed to take a break. Sai and I are wild hearts. For a second. But it wasn't like this. From fighting over song lyrics at band practice to sending silly memes via text. It's a heartfelt making of the band journey that's sure to pull at your heartstrings. Yeah, Here maybe the music is good. Drums I don't know. Onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Hi, I'm Dom. And I'm Tom. And we're Spiral Circus. We are an indie games developer based in Bristol, UK. And our passion for the stranger and surreal side of art is what brought us together. We both come from really different backgrounds. I was a research scientist and Tom is a fine artist. Because of the pandemic, we've been an entirely remote team and almost all of Silt has been hand-drawn at night by me, which seems entirely appropriate for the subject matter. Our audio designer even set up a fish tank in his studio to record oh. the underwater sounds that you'll be hearing throughout the game. We're really excited for you to experience our hand-drawn work brought to life, and we hope you enjoy exploring the strange oceanic world of Silt on Nintendo Switch. Take a deep oh, breath. Oh, yeah, this game. Dive into the harrowing ocean abyss in the depths of this puzzle adventure from Spiral Circus Games. You'll unravel long forgotten mysteries as you explore a surreal underwater realm filled with strange machinery, ancient ruins, and dangerous ocean inhabitants. A variety Isn't this of game out on PC? Can be possessed. Harness their abilities to solve puzzles, navigate the haunting environment, and survive encounters against deep sea goliaths. There's more than meets Delta the eye in this unsettling monochrome world. Plunge into the dark waters of silt, launching on Nintendo Switch next month. When is that, Carlos? Is that today? Oh hey, my God! This a game. A way to avoid traffic. This Morning wasn't already on the Switch. Real jam. If you got my drift. Oh, this game was so good. Oh, I know, right? But guess what? In many motorways, from developer Dinosaur Polo Club. The key to solve Did they ever fix the the rent? Did they ever fix the fucking what killed this fucking game? Once again, was being able to take your fucking tiles and occupy squares in the distance so you didn't have random stores and houses pop up, making it so you don't have to have long stretches of road leading there. But I think that was the strategy. Or that was like uh that was the, like they wanted you to do that. I don't know if they fixed it or if that was just like the flaw of the game. Is you draw and build roads to create a bustling metropolis and keep traffic flowing on maps inspired by real life cities. As demands interchange, you'll continuously redesign and expand via upgrades like highways and roundabouts. Ramp up the difficulty by taking part in daily and weekly challenges. More Such a solid game. Unlock as you become a master road designer. How long can you keep the cities of the world moving? Carlos, is it just about Welcome Android? Mini motorways cruising onto Nintendo Switch later today. Whoa, a flying hospital. That's new. I've never seen that before. Then hop aboard this heartfelt narrative adventure fuck? of Ghost Pattern, set in 1970s rural Australia. As intrepid teen journalist Casey, you'll come to know a diverse cast of eclectic voiced characters through the stories they tell and the moments you share. Each story unfolds in real time, at the same time, so you get to choose which ones you want to experience. Follow the yeah. hospital's inhabitants eavesdrop on them or enter the room and be part of the conversation right. darcy right mrs b's kid it's um casey not um casey just casey nah man but are you gonna check out the godzilla vs kong event mm, i don't spend think so time with certain characters you might do you actually see godzilla and king kong and revelations Multiple playthroughs will also give you the opportunity to witness other events, allowing you to delve deeper into the stories and weave together mysteries aboard the airship. They're actually in the map. Is it cool? Nintendo Switch, July 21st. 
I'd have to download like 200 gigs. A randomly generated world awaits in this action adventure game from Massive Monster. As a possessed lamb saved by a foreboding stranger from a ritual sacrifice, you need to repay your debt by creating a loyal this? community of woodland worshippers. Gather resources to build structures. Nah, then man. gather your courage to brave deadly dungeons like the Silk Cradle. Venture through its dark depths, teeming with razor spiders and toxic millipedes, to challenge the dungeon's overlord Shimura. There ain't anything sheepish about it. Cult, Cult of, of the, the Lamb. Lamb. I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever played this, this game. Year. This game is good. Is it on PC? Is it already out on PC? Oh fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Lol. Actually looks kind of good. Oh shit. <laughs> that actually looks fucking awesome, dude. Another crab's treasure? Hey, crab fans, I'm Nick. And I'm Kalen. Previously, Agro Crab released Going Under, and it didn't make us rich. So this time, we're selling out and giving the people what they want. Crabs. Our second project is a crustacean-themed souls-like, Another Crab's Treasure. Through our extensive research, we found that crabs are the perfect enemy for an action game. They've got natural weapons, can strafe from side to side, and you can hit their weak point for massive damage. Souls likes are known for their difficulty, and we want to create a game that maintains that challenge while being approachable for new fans of the genre. Ooh, what if you died in one hit when you're not wearing a shell? I just said it's supposed to be approachable. Oh, what if every time you dodge roll, there's like a 1% chance that you just trip and fall over? Well, looks like our segment's over, everyone. It's, it's time, time for Crab. crab. This looks All right, it doesn't look bad. It looks kind of funny. Oh, here we go with the crab puns. Crab, absolutely. Anyway, in this action adventure from Agro Crab, you'll embark on an epic treasure hunt under the sea to buy back your repossessed shell while wading through this underwater world plagued by pollution and sinister secrets. You'll scavenge for trash and use it as a shell to defend yourself in challenging combat. There are over 50 potential shells, so get shellfish with them and repel enemies with powerful umami magic. If you don't, you'll be in a pinch before you know it. After all, one crab's trash is another crab's treasure, which sidesteps on the next so, I guess so. Next year. Cringe, For cringe! Segment, Everything is cringe! Like I wake up, I cringe! I brush my teeth, I cringe! I eat breakfast, I cringe! Enjoy. I breathe, I cringe! I sleep, I cringe! Wait, it's out on Switch now? Oh, fuck. That's all for today's Indie World. Nah. 
I think I'd rather just wait for it to come out on Switch then or whatever. Uh, and go from there. I mean, on fucking PC.